Well, I haven't been one of these things in a while. Welcome, everyone, to uh, the secret project, I guess. Well, it's not secret anymore. We're playing Pokemon Yellow, and um, this is actually going to be a catch em all. I don't know how well this will go, but we'll, we'll get there when we get there. Anyways, um, it took a bit to get this working for some reason, but here it is, with the good old Bit Crush Pikachu voice. Anyways, uh, I'll just go with the usual things I put for this. And yeah, there's not really that enough sound there. Got good old prof oak here talking about the Pokemon stuff. Hey, this is the only time we get to hear uh, Pikachu's original cry. Oops. And of course, well, I, I'm gonna be going as myself, so. As for the rival, I haven't actually thought of uh, who I would be doing, because I actually, uh, for the purpose of this catch em all thing, I've done a full playthrough of uh, Red and Blue, and I, I just re call them random name, but I kind of want to give a proper name. I might just call him Blue, but... Alright, well, I have some guests, so who, what should I call this guy? Clearly, you should name him... Uh... Majima. <laughs> no, no. Oh, that's too easy. Well, we could do Kiryu. Oh, no. no, fuck who I mean, is the thing I did as a joke, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably me or Castillo. Yeah, fuck it, I'll go with Majima. Majima. Okay. I was just saying, I thought I was your rival, what the fuck? Well, uh, you're, you're also not a man, it's the thing. That kind of sucks, too, that the rival can't, you can't choose the gender of your rival. Mm-hmm. Anyways, in, uh, Gen 1, the first thing you want to do is get this potion. Why, why, why is it uh, stored instead of on your inventory immediately? Who knows? Also, oops, wrong side. You'll uh, only do this in Gen 1. I think the script is still there if you check in Gen 3, but you have to use walkthrough walls to actually see it. Oh god. Kind of silly that way. This is a silly game. It's strong, they can protect me. I'll use the Trifus of Courage to protect me. You know what you're from? You know, on. I don't know. Just do something. Stop, do something here, damn it! I study hard! Uh, hey, it look, me. it's Majima. Ending <laughs> Chen! My grandpa is not here! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. And here's his house. <laughs> it's Komaki. Oh, go out! Yes, the man who will not die for some reason. Yeah, the man who will not die Just is Majima's and, and it's confirmed, it's he's gonna be back in freaking Yakuza 8. God damn it! Mm -hmm. Anyways, there's a random wild Pikachu. He's lucky enough to catch in on this one Pokeball. Come with me. 
And you'll see... Crabs, I'm fed up with waiting! Hedgehog, are you here? What about me? Nope, it's mine. What an asshole. What are you doing, Majima? Alright, then. I'm gonna give you one anyway. And he... And you got... We get a Pikachu. It's a red! It's a red! Kill it! Kill it! Oh, look at him just bobbing his little body yeah, up and down. They actually down. made a specific sprite for Pikachu for this version of the game. It's adorable. Oops. I haven't thought of a name for it. This is what you named it, Kiryu, but you already named it. You... Never mind. You got a name already. I had a name, but I think someone else already did that joke, so I can't do that. I was gonna call it Firebird. As a, one oh. of the cheat commando oh, toys. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> you could call him Poopo. Nah. <laughs> It'll be a bird Pokemon for that. It, okay. it must be a bird by law. Okay. What about uh, let's see here? You know what? I'll call it Kiryu. Why not? Why not? Because Kiryu always beats the shit out of Majima. The end. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got this little guy here. I'm still not sure how they fit the... Even if it's bit crushed to hell, I'm not sure how they fit all the Pikachu voice in here. Uh, I'm but gonna, they sure I'm did. Gonna, I'm gonna chalk this up to Satoru Iwata's uh, wizardry here. Possibly. The man is a tech wizard. May, may he rest in peace. Anyways, um, this battle is oh. kind of easy as shit for the first time. Because, um... Oh. Okay, you have a special it. attack and this thing does not? Of course, Eevee is weak right now. Oh, and even it's tell this kill. Poor, poor Eevee. Yeah, poor Eevee. My favorite Pokemon, and this is where he ends up. In the hands of a fucking psychopath. <laughs> no, it's a, you know, more like in the hands of a narcissist. <laughs> Oh. Woohoo, tell with Freak, freaking great. What? Unbelievable. <laughs> it's it's unbelievable. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Anyways, this uh this this oh there we go. When you look at that, it's on my computer says your Pikachu dislikes Pokemon. And yeah, this is the first game that introduced, uh... Being able to hear this. <laughs> but, uh, there's actually kind of a quote-unquote cheat to make it happy super early. Just try to give him this potion. Oops. Even if it doesn't have any effect, every time you do this, apparently it gives it one point of happiness. I'm sorry, but uh, whenever I saw, whenever I saw the uh, your Pikachu breaking out of its Pokeball, I think of that one music video by the Lonely Island. It just throws your Pokeball on the ground. It doesn't want to be a part of your system. Man. Oh, it's more happy. It works. Anyways, uh, this is the first time that happiness is introduced in the series. And uh, it doesn't really affect anything other than the Oops. mood of your Pikachu. Anyways, let's get to Route 1. Um, of course, the catch-em-all portion can't really start right now. 
it does uh, move the way towards the uh, friendship mechanic in future games. Yep. And yeah, talk to this guy, get a free potion. Um, there's only two Pokemons on this route, as far as I remember, and uh, we can't uh, get them all yet, but I'll probably be getting gutter, here. They're both gutter trash. Let's be real. <laughs> there's Raditz, huh? I'm actually gonna want to level up my uh, my Pikachu a little bit. At least level 8, I think. For one thing I want to do. But, we're now in no hurry to do that. Just keep going. Oh, clearly I gotta recover its PP now. So let's go here. Pokemon Center, you know how this works. I don't think I need to explain anything. It heals you for free. <laughs> mm -hmm. To the right, there's also uh, the Trading Center, which we won't be using for a while. But uh, Not... I will have to make use of it in order to catch them all. Agents, yeah. young Padawan. Pokeballs are used to catch Pokemon. Up to six can be carried. Unless you're playing, uh... Unless you're playing, uh, let's go. You can't go through here, this private property. Yeah, this is literally our blockade here. <laughs> Anyways, to continue, we uh, need to go to the mark. Because apparently we're a goddamn courier, we gotta take this parcel and bring it back to Professor Oak, you know? Mm -hmm. Woohoo! I'm a delivery boy! <laughs> At least you're not a really bird boy. <laughs> well, this PG has chosen the wrong route to be on. Pizza time. Wow, I'm getting lucky with the Paralyze, what the heck. Also, uh, of, of note, Gust is actually a normal type move in Gen 1. It is not flying type until Gen 2. Interesting. Because I didn't have flying types in Gen 1? No, this is a flying type. It, it's just that Gust is not a flying type move in this gen for some reason. Oh! That was an example of a gen 1 miss! Thundershock has 100% accuracy. Or so the game tells you. It actually has like a 1 in 256% chance of missing because of programming error. And they did not fix this for yellow. <laughs> Damn it. So it is what it is. Another burb. I could also enter into a uh, territory of DVs and uh, EVs. Oops. Uh, the DVs are essentially like the IVs of later, later generations, but they're for Gen 1 and 2. Rat versus rat. And the EVs are sort of similar. And I think all the stats can go up to 255, unlike later gents. And also, uh, you gain stat experience instead of a point, point into a stat. Yeah, let's just say there's a lot of math involved. <laughs> Honestly, if you're playing the game normally, 
you probably won't have to worry about any of that shit. But it exists, so it's kind of important to know. Especially for doing competitive. Yeah, that's the main reason. <laughs> Ramps! Pokemon has grown stronger! Check it out! Pokedex! Which, uh, by uh, the end of this playthrough, we will have filled up. Complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream! But I'm too old, I can't do it! I'll ask two ten-year-olds to do it for me. So yeah, this is apparently Majima's and ten-year-old now. Tell her not to lend you one. What a bitch. Anyways, uh, there's a way to get free Pokeballs. I'm going to try to do it. This will involve not me not being able to catch anything yet, though. I need to not catch anything and not even buy Pokeballs. Anyways, it, it's the town map. It tells you what everything is. I'm probably gonna be depositing this in the PC and not even look at it. Let's just keep going back to world, Route 1. And yeah, hopefully fight a few things, because again, I would like to be level 8 for this next part. Oh, this is a level 6 baby. Unfortunately, wild Pokemons do not give as much experience as uh, tame Pokemons. So you won't be getting that much from uh, fighting them, but at the same time you do get stat experience, so there is that. Oh, my coffee, and I feel great! Sorry, it was so rude. And, uh, unlike Red and Blue, the catching tutorial is forced here. However... There's something different about it. That didn't work, I must be losing my touch! I don't know, Pokeballs. I have to get some of the Pokemon. So the reason why they did this is about a glitch that we will not be seeing in this playthrough. There is a glitch that uh, makes you encounter either ridiculously high level Pokemons or uh, Glitch Pokemon at the Cinnabar Coast, which we're not going there for quite some time. Now, Nidor and Mel is possibly something I will want to get for my team, but I'm not quite sure yet. I'm still not decided what I'm using. Honestly, one of the things I might be interested in using is a Sand Shrew, because I didn't. I don't think I've ever used one. What I might do though is uh, do a bit of a cut here and uh, meet you back once I reach level 8 so that way I can uh, speed things up a little bit. Unless I get the level now? No, okay. So, let me do a bit of off-screening, and I'll be right back. Okay, well, we got oh, yeah. to level 8, so we get Thunder Wave as well. That's not really why I wanted to get to level 8, but this will definitely help in the long run. Even though uh, 
Paralysis is not great to catch Pokemon in this generation because, again, bugs. But yeah, if we continue over that route, uh, which I believe is Route 22, we will have a fight. And uh, there is a chance I could uh, I could lose. Although I think this fight is easier than uh, in red and blue. I'll go over here and uh, do my first save on the game. Yeah, it did not take too long to uh, actually uh, complete the, the, the grind, thankfully. Forget it! Probably don't have any badge. Now, in red and blue, you would actually have a Pidgey here. But in yellow, he actually has a Spearow instead. Which is probably better, because I don't think the Spearow has Sand Attack, which was a big problem with the goddamn Pidgey. So, what you're saying is he doesn't have Pocket Sand. Nope, he does not indeed have pocket sand. Pocket sand! <laughs> For some reason, his Spiro is higher level than his Eevee, by the way. <laughs> I got another Paralyze. Oops. No, the Eevee has sand attack, though. This could be problematic. This reduces your accuracy, and in the ends of the opponent, that usually means bad things are gonna happen. Like me missing twice in a row, essentially. This could be problematic. Oh my god! <laughs> Ow! Stop that! Stop it! Get some help! <laughs> god, that cry! Yeah, Anyways, uh... Cry. With yep. AB start select, you can reboot. Which, uh. Let's. Yeah, that again. Yeah, let's, uh. I, I accidentally fast forwarded, but this is fine. Anyways, um. I'm just gonna beat the Spearow real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back to the Eevee. Hopefully, not 5 million sand attacks this time. Alright, so let's go. 5 million. 5 million pocket sand attacks. Might be a problem if he actually uses it again. Oh god. Okay, thank god. And we leveled up. Oh, you should probably get some badges. You said it yourself. Okay, before I go back to Professor Oak, because now that I've beaten Rival 1A, and um, also there's a, a secret potion here, but um, I don't have any Pokeballs, I don't have any other Pokemon, I should have access to a special cutscene. I think it's available without these conditions in the remakes on Gen 3. But here in Gen 1, uh, yeah, it's special conditions, apparently. Now, I 
didn't want to talk to you again. <laughs> yeah, it's very easy to talk to people too many times. Especially when you're mashing. Real catching will probably start in the next part. Detail the other Pokemon by just seeing them. You must catch them. Use these to capture wild Pokemon. And he gives you five free Pokeballs, which is good because um, at the start of the game, you really don't get that much money. Why did he even know this was a thing? Yeah, this only works if you beat Rival 1 and don't have any Pokeballs or any other Pokemon in your game. Interesting. Because if you have Pokeballs to purchase, uh, you will not get this, even if you have only one Pokemon. Also, another bug that can happen, well, not really in this one, but more in uh, red and blue. If you level up your starter before getting the Pokedex, you get softlocked, because Professor Oak will think you already have the Pokedex. Which means you can't get past the the old man up there. Oof. All right. Anyways, I'm gonna save here. And uh, next time, uh, we'll start catching stuff. See you then. <laughs>